Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to more Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories Reverse Rebirth. So, continuing with Riku's story today, we only actually have two worlds left, and we got a brand new world card. Twilight Town. Now, this will be interesting, because like Sora, Riku has never been to Twilight Town before. Not even in Kingdom Hearts 1, so what is in store for us here? Where am I now? I don't remember this place. Your Majesty, do you know where we are? Your Majesty? His Majesty is not here. You must battle me and the darkness alone! Giving up already? Then accept your fate and accept Ansem as your master. You're not handsome. Your scent? It's different. The handsome in my heart smells darker, more foul. But not you. It's not darkness I smell, it's something else. I know. You're the one who guided me when this all started. You pretended to be handsome and gave me the card to make me face the darkness. Correct. Call me Diz. It's as good a name as any. I've been watching you all alone. Who are you, really? What do you want from me? I want you to choose. Choose? You are special. You exist between light and dark. You stand in the twilight. I want you to meet Namine, then choose. Namine? Who's that? You'll just have to meet her and find out. Hey, wait a sec! Now we get the key of beginnings, and I apologize, but that is the closest voice I can get to Christopher Lee as I can. Because Diz in the other games is uh, played by Christopher Lee. Rest in peace. Also, I believe this is the only world in Riku's story that has both a key of beginnings and a key of guidance door. Besides Hollow Bastion, of course. So, first off... Actually, not as big as I was expecting. I remembered this to be, like... I remember Twilight Town being ridiculously huge in Riku's story, but it's really not. Now let's look at our deck. We have some high-valued cards and some low-valued cards. We have a few zeros, but we also have to look out for our low-valued cards. And, like Destiny Islands, we do not get a new Heartless card in this world. We just have our boss cards, including Dark Side now. And I'll just be perfectly honest, this world, we're going to face the toughest boss in the entire game. Even tougher than all the ones in Sora's story. Thankfully, I don't think the enemies are going to be that bad. Unless, of course, my stupid cards don't cooperate because of their low values, but we're going to get quite a bit of experience for this world. And there aren't any dumb enemies like large bodies. Alright. My low-valued cards are just plentiful enough to make it annoying. So it looks like air soldiers are going to be my most annoying adversary. Did not mean to reload there, but I guess that's what happens. And once again, Mickey's actually not with us, even though he joined our party for like two seconds. Which means our only available card to heal is Oogie Boogie, and that's going to be annoying for the boss fight. Ooh, level up. Alright. I was looking forward to this. HP. Is that actually all the HP we can have? 500? We'll have to see. Now we can still get more than that. 
Alright. I definitely want full HP for this boss fight. This boss fight is the reason I've been leveling up HP so intensely. I'm not exaggerating when I say it's by far the toughest boss in the entire game. Oh boy, I'm not looking forward to this. I'm gonna die a few times, I'm sure. Because our only method of healing is the Oogie Boogie card. And the boss is just really tough. Maybe Naminé is in here? Hold it, real fiend. Well, well, you've changed. Last time we met, you were afraid of the darkness, but not anymore. How can you tell? Because I'm you. No, I'm me. I'm me, he says. It must be nice being real. A fake like me could never get away with saying that. That's right, I'm a phony. The way I look, the way I feel, everything. I thought by finding some new strength I could be someone. Someone who's not you. But nothing changes. I'm still just empty. Everything about me is borrowed. As long as you're around, I'll never be anything better than a shadow. We get to fight the Riku replica. Oh boy, this is gonna suck. Because we don't have an amazing deck. So I'm basically just going to level up my DP a little bit <laughs> with the zero cards. Come on. Nope. No Dark Aura for you. No Dark Aura for you! Yes! Now I'm Dark Riku! <laughs> yeah, take that. My plan is to basically use up all of my low-valued cards and slates so they don't bog down my deck. We have gotten quite a bit of his HP down. The problem is, oh no. Oh, stop it! Oh no, we get used in elixir to get all his cards back. Come on, make a slate. Let me break it. Excellent. Ho oh, ho! You fool. Alright. You've got to be really strategic with the cards you use here. Oh no, my darkness! Oh, that's not good. Actually, Dark Fire God doesn't deal a whole lot of damage, which is nice. Nope, not today. <laughs> Using your zeros to just break his slates, that's the key to winning. I need Oogie Boogie, me thinks. There we go. Goodbye, Riku Replica. Wow, I can't believe I didn't die on him. He's such a hard boss. So, this is the end. 
figures, but I'm not afraid. Good riddance to an artificial life. I never had a real heart. Even what I'm feeling now is probably fake. What are you feeling? What happens when someone who's not real dies? Where will my heart go? That is, if it doesn't disappear completely. It'll go somewhere. Probably the same place my heart will go. Heh! <laughs> How original. Oh well. Well that was sad. He had such a pathetic life, I, I feel really bad for him. And Riku's just like, oh well. Well, Riku replica, I guess. Oh yeah, I love showing strong initiative. Now we get to fight more enemies before we actually reach Namine in the Key of Guidance room. I probably made that fight look easy. That fight was ridiculously hard. Oh. Nothing but shadows. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Why? <laughs> nice thing about shadows. It's almost impossible for them to break your cards. Yeah! Strong initiative level 9! Oh, and I'm about to get another level up thanks to all those pearls Riku Replica gave me. Alright. Might as well keep the HP train going. If I can max out my HP, that would be pretty cool. <laughs> nice five hit combo, Riku. Knock it off. Really? I don't need to be Dark Riku to take out one shadow. Ho-ho! <laughs> Look at that warp break! <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> Alrighty, level up. HP, I'm maxing out my HP as, as soon as I can. Unless, of course, I can level up my attack as well. Oh, okay, there we go. We finally maxed out our HP. Look at those two beautiful bars. Ah, excellent. I can now die a happy man. Well, that was simple enough. Who needs ladders? Not me. Alright, five or higher. Stroll initiative is always amazing. Here we are. We need 50 cards. Cool. Boom. That was easy. Look who it is! You're a nominee? Yes. So, that was you. Huh? Nothing. Never mind. Please, come this way. Hey! It's Sora! What did you do to him? Nothing. He's just sleeping. He has to to get his memory back. Tell me what happened. And she pulls out the GBA cartridge. I see. Sora chose to forget about this castle and get his old memories back. You have a decision to make, too. Why? No one's been messing with my memories. It's not about your memories. It's about your darkness. In your heart is darkness, and in that darkness is Ansem. Right now he's at bay, but eventually he'll awaken, and he'll conquer you when he does. Before that happens, let me lock your heart tight. I can make it so Ansem never escapes. And what happens to me if I let you do that? Will I forget everything, like Sora? I will, won't I? The darkness in your heart will be sealed along with your memory. 
You'll stop remembering the darkness. You can go back to the way you used to be. It's your choice, Riku. So choose. Sora looks like he hasn't got a care in the world. Will I sleep like that as well? Yes. Sora always did as he pleased. Doesn't matter what we were doing, he'd still go off and leave me with all the work. Take the raft we were gonna use to leave the islands. That was all me. I've made up my mind. When this slacker wakes up, I'm gonna tell him off good. I told him to take care of Kyrie, and here he is taking a nap. But I can't chew him out if I've been sleeping too. Keep your lock. I'd rather just finish Ansem off once and for all. But if the darkness he wields gets the better of you... I'll make that darkness show me the way. That's true. Why do I get the feeling you knew I'd say that? I didn't know. I hoped. I want you to face the darkness because you're the one who can. So that's why you came to me in the light, as Kyrie. You knew? I knew as soon as I met you. Somehow you smell the same. Look after Sora. Oh boy. Interesting. I like how this game like takes place both during Sora's time and after Sora's time in Castle Oblivion. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Unfortunately, we still have like half of Twilight Town to get for just to leave. So, I'm probably going to be using more strong initiatives, methinks. As well as Feeble Darkness. Feeble Darkness was great. Let's see, I got four... Cool. I got a lot of Feeble Darkness, holy cow. No... Well, actually, it's Feeble Darkness, not Strong Initiative, so if I don't get the first strike, that's fine. Boom. Oh, I love it when you can warp break like five enemies with a single finishing blow. That's really cool. Wait, my HP's not maxed out yet? Really? Sure, it looked like it was. Yeah, my HP bar like did not change at all after that level up, so I don't know. It definitely affects the whole like the actual system, but it doesn't really affect the graphical interface, I guess. <laughs> I'm just gonna use strong initiatives for the rest of the world. <laughs> They're just so much fun. <laughs> Well, kind of. They're really fun when the first wave is four soldiers. Yeah. Oh yeah, level up, baby! This might be my last level up in the entire game, also. Because if memory serves, the final world for Riku is really small. Alright, I can still level up HP, it's still not maxed out, are you serious? Well, I'm leveling up eight attack power, obviously. Well, now I have to get another level up so I can max out my HP. Yeah, my, the, the HP meter has not changed even a little bit. Keep moving forward! I'll use Feeble Darkness, I suppose, for the last room. Oh, it's not the last room? Doggone it! This world is way too long. Why can't I ever get this wave for a Strong Initiative? Alright, well, I'll definitely get another level up before the final boss, so... 
My HP will be maxed out. DP's like, but what about me? Don't you want to level me up some more? I'm like, no, not really. <laughs> Oh heck, we might even get another level up before we leave the world if I use it every strong initiative in the next room. Which I'm planning on doing. Literally, next enemy that I kill gives me a level up. I love how it's like, it's not like a ton of enemies that cause slowdown, it's a ton of experience points bouncing around that cause a slowdown. <laughs> Alright, can we please finally max out our HP? We're at 560. That's a nice round number. And again, my HP meter did not change whatsoever. I've gotten a lot of level ups in this world, so. I. Okay. Dark Rick, it's really hard to combo common enemies because you're so fast, you just kind of like knock them away. Nope. If it's strong initiative and I don't get the first hit, I'm escaping. Oh, that was a good choice. I might get a level up in the next world before the final boss. We'll have to see. I guess worst case, I can always reopen old doors. Next world has really obnoxious enemies, which is why I'm kind of savoring this world. You whackwits! Make me lose my hard-earned experience points. I'm gonna kill you. Alright, that's it for Twilight Town. I am so done with this world. It's Mickey Mouse! So you decided not to go to sleep, huh? How'd you know that? Because you're not sleeping! <laughs> Diz told me! Hey, Ninja Man. You know him? I'm not really sure. I can't help feeling I met him somewhere before. Hey, voice. Diz, who are you? Nobody. Or anybody. It all depends on whether you choose to believe in me or not. Boy, you really like pushing decisions on other people. And you pushed away slumber and chose to face Ansem. What? Wrong answer? It was your answer. I'm just here to watch. Watch, as in support me? Or watch me get toasted? You choose. Then you need only believe in your choice. That card will draw the darkness inside you out into this world. Finish your business with Ansem. Let's go, your majesty. Golly, it sure feels like I've met Diz somewhere before. Oh, interesting. So this card will draw Ansem out. Don't you worry! Together we can defeat him! I'm glad you said that. But I have to face Ansem alone. But why? There's no point in doing this if I can't do it on my own. But I have a favor to ask. If Ansem wins, he's going to enslave me.
If that happens, I want you to destroy- Sure! I'll save you, pal! Huh? You're not listening. I want you to destroy Ansem and me with- No can do! I already made my choice. No matter what happens, I'm gonna be there to help you. I'm not backing down, unless you don't believe I'll come through for you. It's my choice to believe or not. I know you never let me down, your majesty. Same here! You won't lose! Not in a million years! Not in a billion years! That's presumptuous, Rico! <laughs> Castle Oblivion, Basement 1. We're about to enter out- er, leave the basements, I suppose. You never let the darkness get the best of you! I'm sure of that! Mickey clearly was not around for Kingdom Hearts 1. Anyhow, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Next episode will be the last episode of Chain of Memories. I don't think there are really any bonus episodes for me to do for this. So, look forward to that. We're finally going to beat Mr. Uh, Shirtless McDarkness. Anyhow, hope to see you then. Until we meet again, have a great day, and God bless. I'm level 56. I believe Sora was level 57 at the end of my playthrough, so if I get one more level up, I will have tied with him. Nice.